Hi guys, Nick is here from OKNet TV. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you the plugin WooCommerce Payments, which was available only in the US but has just been released in Australia, the UK, Canada, Ireland, New Zealand, France, Italy, Spain and Germany. This plugin was made by Automatic, which is the company that created WordPress and WooCommerce. You may use WooCommerce Payments to collect payments, track cash flow, and manage recurring revenue directly from your store's dashboard, all without setup costs or monthly fees. However, this plugin works with Stripe, so you must have a Stripe account to use it. So let's kick the ball rolling, but before we start, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell below, so you don't miss any similar videos in the future. Also, if you like this video, please click the like button, I'd appreciate it. So, I have a WordPress multi-site installation. We are going to install the WooCommerce Payments plugin on one of the subsites. I go to Network Admin, then Plugins, add a new plugin, and upload the zip file that you are able to download for free from WooCommerce.com. You can find the link in the description below. Now, I must go to the Plugins section of my subsite in order to activate the plugin for this site only. After the activation, it's time to set up WooCommerce Payments, which, as you can see, has already been added to the menu bar on the left. Next, I must approve the connection, which means I agree to share the details between WordPress and my company. Also, I confirm that I agree with the cookies used by the plugin. This page collects your personal details, like your email address and mobile phone. You get a verification code on your mobile for confirmation. Following that, you sign up for Stripe using the information from your existing Stripe account. Again, you must provide general information related to your business, like your ABN and ACN numbers, etc. Next, they ask for the details of the business representatives. Finally, the details of your bank account and the review of the information you have provided. Then click on the Done button. That's it. Everything is completed and you have enabled the plugin which shows in green the word Enabled. The refund policy is still pending, but we will talk later about it. Going back to the plugin settings, it's better to put it in test mode until you are sure everything is as it is supposed to be. The button customization appearance allows you to change the name of the button on the checkout page, or its size and color mode. If you make any changes, don't forget to save them before you leave. It's time to make a purchase on the site. I am opening up Chrome in incognito mode, and I am going to my site, okanatv.com.au. I'm buying a brand new website on a low-cost basic plan. I am adding it to my cart and proceeding to the payment page. Fill in the billing details and make the payment with a credit card using the details of the testing card. That's it, payment completed and order submitted, as you can see in the admin area of the site. In regards to the payment, the overview section of the payments plugin shows the collected amount, when it's due for the payout and the fees for this transaction. You are able to see the payments history, and to download all payments on your computer in a CSV file format. From the three dots here, you are able to customize the payment view by enabling or disabling some of the payment fields. In regards to the fees, if you click the Learn More button, you can see the valid rates per country. In Australia, for example, when using a domestic credit card or a debit card, the fee is 1.75% plus $0.030 AUD per transaction. 
When using a card issued outside of Australia, a fee of 2.9% plus $0.030 AUD is applied per transaction. An additional 2% is charged for currency conversions other than the AUD. The amount of $25 AUD is charged per submitted dispute, but it's refunded if you win the dispute. The plugin is available in the US, Australia, the UK, Canada, Ireland, New Zealand, France, Italy, Spain and Germany. Now I'll return to the payment plugin settings. If you click on the top right corner, the input box button, you will see messages from the WooCommerce team. The most recent message is about the refund policy, and it says there are 9 hours left for setup. The same applies to Apple Pay if you want to accept payments via Apple Pay. Clicking on the Read More button gives you instructions for the setup. You should almost always set up automatic refunds. That means, by changing the order's status to refund, the system automatically reverses the charge. Manual refunds require you to do it in two steps. You change the order status to a refund, and then you click the refund button inside the order itself. I guess, with this we wrap up what we should know about the WooCommerce Payments plugin. It's a nice, alternative to the Stripe way, and gives you payment management inside your WordPress admin area. Please click the subscribe button and the notification bell below and check for related links in the description below. Thank for watching, catch you guys in the next one. Health and peace.